capital stock turnover delays. This is a major source of the modest impact of some new technologies and policies to support them on reducing emissions and on temperature. And the short version is, is that it takes a long time to get the old inefficient technologies, the old high carbon technologies out of the system and bring in the new efficient or low carbon technologies in. That is the source of the delay and the modest impact. Let me show you a couple examples of where it shows up in the energy system. One of them is electrifying transport. Watch while I boost the electrification of transport vehicles, but also um, other transportation systems like shipping and boating, all that. So look at electrification. I'm going to encourage it here and we boost it up and Look at the top right graph, greenhouse gas net emissions. You can see the blue line followed in the electrification scenario. But in what year do you really see emissions going down? The blue line departs from the black line really out here in the 2050s. It's taking a very long time. Let's look at another example. In this case, nuclear power. We're going to subsidize nuclear power in the 2020s. And then watch in the top left, you're going to see a blue wedge of nuclear power grow. You see it expand. Over on the right though, look at the gap between the blue black line and the blue line to show when it actually reduces greenhouse gas net emissions. It's not till the 2030s or the 2040s. This also shows up with energy efficiency in buildings and transport and in industry, but also shows up in like wind and solar with the energy supply. So what's going on? You'll ask yourself, people will ask you, what is the source of this delay? Well, what's happening is that it takes a long time for what we call capital stock, for infrastructure like coal-fired electricity generation facilities, gas-fired electric generation facilities. Um, in the case of transportation, it's often the oil refineries, etc. The old technologies to leave, they last 35 years. Long-lived infrastructure retires away very, very slowly, making space only slowly for the new, in that case, nuclear power to come in. In the case of transportation, it takes a long time, 15 years on average, for internal combustion engines, and mind you, there are 3 billion cars on the planet right now, for that infrastructure to leave and for the new electric vehicles to come in. It takes a long time for the new stuff to come in because the old stuff has to leave. The result is that what you get is a greenhouse gas net emissions curve that is changing and turning much more like an ocean liner and not really like a speedboat, which could turn really, really quickly. So capital stock turnover delays. It takes a long time to get the old stuff out and get the new stuff in. Hope this was helpful.